In this lesson, you will learn about toxicology studies. The main purposes of toxicity studies are Prediction of adverse effects Identification of target organs Evaluation of dose dependency Evaluation of recovery Estimation of first-in human dose the risks of pharmaceutical agents in humans are evaluated by the hazard identification and safety margin. The hazard identification means identifying the toxicological effects on organs and tissue based on the results of toxicity studies and making the determination of the NOAA-L. The safety margin is determined based on the systemic exposure level and NOAA-L. Risks in humans are hypothesized or envisaged using the hazard identification and safety margin. From here, let's take a look at some typical toxicity studies. First is repeated dose toxicity that complies with ICH S4 and M3 guidelines. The purposes of repeated dose toxicity studies are to identify systemic toxicity of a drug, especially on the target organs, confirm recovery from the toxicity, and determine the NOAA-L. Animal species used for the studies mainly include rats, dogs, and monkeys. The treatment period varies depending on the treatment period in humans in the clinical trial. The treatment period is six months in rodents and nine months in non-rodents at the longest. Endpoints generally include general signs, body weight, food intake, ophthalmology, hematology, clinical chemistry, organ weight, microscopy, and histopathology. Next, toxicokinetics is described in the ICH S3 guideline. The purposes of blood concentration measurements of test substances in toxicity studies are shown here. Systemic exposure after test substance administration to animals is obtained. The data is then used for various evaluations. First, the relationship between the onset of toxicity and systemic exposure is assessed. The systemic exposure levels in humans and animals are compared. Such results are used as evidence to determine the dosage for further toxicity studies. The data is also used to select animal species in toxicity studies. TK measurements are conducted in repeated dose toxicity, in vivo genotoxicity, carcinogenicity, and reproductive toxicity studies. Genotoxicity studies are described in the ICH S2 guideline. Genotoxicity studies aim to evaluate the effects of test substances on genetic damage and chromosomal damage and recombination. In some cases, the carcinogenic potential of test substances can be predicted based on the results of genotoxicity studies. In order to investigate the effects of test substances on genes, AIMS tests, mouse lymphoma TK assays, and HRPT are conducted in an in vitro test system. And rat UDS tests, rat transgenic mutation assays, and rat comet assays are used in an in vivo test system. In order to investigate the effects of test substances on chromosomal damage and recombination, chromosomal aberration tests, mouse lymphoma TK assays, and micronucleus tests are conducted in an in vitro system, and rat bone marrow micronucleus tests are used in an in vivo test system. This shows a summary of the developmental 
and reproductive toxicology, DART studies. The studies are required to investigate all effects of pharmaceutical agents on reproductive organs, fertility, fetal development, gestation, lactation, and pups. Usually three types of studies are conducted to investigate all these items. For evaluation of organogenesis in particular, studies are conducted in rats and rabbits. The safety pharmacology studies aim to investigate whether a pharmaceutical agent exerts any adverse effect on physical function in humans. Evaluation items include the central nervous system, cardiovascular system and respiratory system. Particularly with regard to the cardiovascular system, detailed examinations such as measurement of the electrocardiogram are conducted.